Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this video is regarding VSFTPD or Very Secure FTP Server uh, Jailed Environment. And why this video is important because in my first video regarding the SFTPD, I was uh, like I was having some issues when the user, when he logs in to his, uh, with his credentials, he was able to go back into the higher directories of the system. So by working with jailed environment, what we can do is we can, uh, you can say, lock the user to his home directory only so that he cannot browse into higher directories of the system. And so we can make our uh, FTP server more secure. Okay. And then uh, this video has a second, uh, you can say, uh, part in which we are going to create one script because sometimes what happens we have issues when we need to in uh, like add a lot of users in our FTP server or some other servers uh, and it's difficult for like manually adding the users with their passwords creating their home directories then uh, adding those users to the specific group so we will see that script also so let's start first of all what we need is we need a VSFTP server, so yum hyphen y install VSFTPD. We'll install this uh, VSFTPD server, and in the meanwhile, you can see this uh, configuration file. I already have this. What we need to do is uh, Okay, let, uh, let's do it on the live system. But there's a simple difference, like the only difference between uh, the file which I created in part one and this is that uh, we will be making a very few changes. And I'll show you in a moment regarding that change. Okay, it's almost done. Good. So what we need to do is we will go into etc vsftpd, okay, go into this vsftpd.conf, okay, okay, so first of all we need to disable this anonymous user login, we don't want any anonymous users. Then local enables mean that please enable local users to log into the server. So I have a local user database. That's why I want it to be enabled. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. Then this is also fine. Directory message enable like uh, message gives to remote users when they go into certain directory. Okay. Everything is good. Port 20 is good. Here. This is the only change which we want. Okay, sorry about this. Over here, it's fine. FTP web banner, if you want, you can just uncomment this. Okay. Here. So this is what we want uh, to enable. CH root local users yes this will put users in the ch root or jailed environment this is uh, very important like if you want to limit the users to their uh, only home directories you need to enable this okay and then there is one more um, option we need to add it but i'll sh i want to show you first that why ne we need that option i'm not going to enable it first okay let's close this okay and let's start the server system ctl restart vsftpd okay uh, cat so we have this local user okay i am going to
it's sending a request okay asking for username and password password okay now this is the reason you see it's just denying the access okay so the error is it's not letting me in so what we need to do is I can do it again you can see that if if I disable the C rich uh, C rich uh, CH root sorry environment let's see what will happen here disable it system CTL okay now we will be we will be able to log in to the system yeah but the problem with this is if this is this is the shared FTP I just uh, made this available for the users but the problem with this is let me open a Chrome browser uh, another browser like Firefox and show you that Okay, log in with the same user here. This is the dangerous thing. See? This is what we want to restrict. And this is available only with the CH root environment or the jailed environment. So let's check how we can solve the issue of logging into the system without any issues and enabling the ch root uh, ch root mode also okay so this is i'm going to enable it and in addition to this we are going to write this line allow writable underscore ch root is equals to yes we can add it here allow underscore writable underscore ch root equals to yes so now restart and I have disabled firewall just to show this uh, like demonstration you can enable it and allow uh, port 21 and 20 and 80 so it will work fine okay now if I refresh it's going to ask me the password if you remember when we enabled ch root last time it was not letting me in so this time okay let's go you see we cannot go to the higher level so this is just restricting the users to its like home directory or to the shared folder and you can see here if I go to users home directory I can create here anything like make dir cell Here it is. So perfect. Okay, now if we go to the Chrome browser, you can, uh, if you remember, it was not giving us access earlier, but now it's working perfectly fine. So this is the end of part one of this VSFTPD server uh, with the CH root environment. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a script so that you don't have to. Uh, create multiple users with uh, like manually and give them access to FTP and uh, like uh, FTP group 
So what we are going to do is in this next video, we are going to create five users and simultaneously give them uh, access to the FTP group and they will be able to log in. So thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in next video. Goodbye.